Hello all, welcome to Learner's Territory. In the previous class we have seen that how we are going to define the material types. After that we have defined the number range for that. After we have assigned the number range to the different material types. And we have seen how to create the material groups. After that how to create the industry sector all and uh, a purchasing group. All these things we have seen it already. So today we are going to see the MRP parameters, okay. MRP parameters for a material types, okay. What are these MRP parameters and why we require to maintain this MRP parameters? All these things we are going to discuss today. So, what is MRP? Okay, here MRP stands for material requirement. Planning. <clears throat> this MRP stands for Material Requirement Planning. And what is it exactly? Okay. So this is an entity or a unit in the enterprise structure to address the demands of the material. It is responsible to check the stock level and maintain for the different requirements. If the existing stock is not sufficient then purchase requisitions are raised and material is procured from the different sources okay are the available sources here uh, two things will going to come uh, some uh, times you may face this question in the interview what is the difference between the mrp and cbp cbp mrp is nothing but the uh, material requirement planning here cbp stands for consumption based planning so we have seen like uh, what means I will just uh, give you a certain hint over here MRP like whenever okay whenever you have uh, some production is going to take place after some days okay we will going to plan for that production okay so these are the different materials we require let us consider ABC is the material which you are manufacturing and for the ABC material to manufacture we require the raw material as A and B and C and uh, you see that A material and B material available in a sufficient quantity but C material is a very less quantity is available so we need to procure the C material now correct now so to procure the means we are planning in advance okay to manufacture let us consider 100 ABC materials we may require 100 A materials, 100 B materials and 100 C materials. But we have the A and B materials sufficient in quantity but the C materials we may be having around 20 or 30. So we are planning to purchase under 70 materials or to match the production we are purchasing some C materials. So that is what MRP is all about. Material requirement planning. How much material is required? or else you can read it from the right side planning up of the materials which is required for a manufacturing of some different product okay so that is what it is all about and what do you mean by cbp i said it is nothing but consumption based planning okay what do you mean by consumption based planning means it will going to study the historical data historical data it will going to study the historical data and it will going to look for the uh, future uh, what is that uh, uh, planning okay but how the future planning will be taking place it is based upon the historical data like uh, let us consider you have manufactured uh, ABC uh, like uh, two months back and you have consumed A material B material and C material in particular proportion so Consumption based planning means and you want to produce under 100 materials, 100 ABC materials. For this you can calculate based upon whatever the consumption record is there based upon this you are planning. Okay. Based upon this you are planning. So that is uh, what it is all about the consumption based planning. Okay. Consumption based planning that is called as CBP very very important okay most of the time they may ask it in the interview so these two things will going to appear now okay and we will going to define some parameters will be there for the MRP 
for the material to maintain okay so we'll going to look into that particular data i'll go to the sap screen here in the sap screen again i'll go in, i'll take you to the path first okay then i'll going to tell you about the uh, what is that uh, um, t code okay so go to the path spro after that img here under the img go to the material management under the material management go to the consumption based planning this one here we need to go to the plant parameters this is one okay carry out overall maintenance of a plant parameters just click on this here uh, whatever the plant parameters we need to maintain no initially it will not be available for our plant okay so that we need to create okay first click on the create here give our plant our plant is lt 01 is our plant okay so just say create here okay and uh, uh, you must create a plant parameters to maintain the individual parameter like that they have given certain idea here that is okay just say create and it is saving in this particular transaction code or transport request sorry it is a transport request not a transaction code okay and now we need to maintain the things okay just go here in the maintain for which plant you are maintaining the uh, plant parameters for lt01 i am maintaining the plant parameters just go inside maintain here n number of different parameters are available but we are not going to work on all these things basically uh, pp consultants will going to look into this okay production planning people we are not the one <coughs> sorry so we are will going to take a little bit about the mrp parameters what are the different things we'll going to maintain we'll just see it okay we'll just take this master data especially i'll just go to the mrp controller first go to the mrp controller here we need to maintain one particular controller for our uh, plant what is this mrp controller he is again a person okay who is responsible to uh, what is that uh, uh plan the material in advance so that we'll going to get those materials for the production that's it okay i'll say new entries okay i need to uh, uh give my plant here lp01 is my plant and mrp controller i'll going to give as uh, lt01 mrp controller lmc like that i'm just creating it is lp01 mrp controller you are not only having one okay you may be having a n number of mrp controllers i am just giving this and his phone number and the recipient name everything you can maintain rs just save this okay save this data we are not maintaining um, okay everything so this is the mrp controller for us lmc please remember because i am just going through some uh, specific uh, codes so that you can remember it very easily okay just go back we have created the mrp controller now next go to the floats here okay we have to maintain it just go to the floats i'll just explain about what is float and uh, why we need to maintain it just go here and say new entry here we need to provide our plant that is lt01 and this is the a scheduling margin key what is this scheduling margin key okay here whatever the floats i'll going to maintain no these are going to save in one particular key that is scheduling margin key floats are specified to determine the basic dates of a planning orders okay floats are allotted to the material in the material master record actually here i'll going to maintain this scheduling margin key okay as um l s k lt01 scheduling key like that i'm going to maintain it here and uh, here opening period is there float before is there float after is there and some release period in days is there what is this opening period is all about this represents the number of working days before actual production starts i'll just take you to the excel here let us consider uh, today is the uh, 259 so you are uh, planning for 25 10 you want to start some production activity but before uh, you are uh, starting this production activity we need to see how much materials are available whether all the raw materials available for the manufacturer or not we need to just see all the different resources okay 
so whatever the time is going to take for um, completing the resource planning and everything no that is the period which will going to call it for, uh, call it as a open period so that is why i said this represents the number of working days before actual production starts okay actual production is going to start here means we are going to plan some days in advance so all these days will going to consider it as a opening period and this time is used by the uh, material planning people to convert the planned orders into the purchase requisitions or the production orders okay within this time they will going to uh, purchase some uh, products means they need to uh, just have it over here okay so they have to purchase the products and keep it ready for the production at this particular point of time next thing it is the before float okay what is before float means it represents the number of working days between the planned start date and production start date actual production start date i'll take you like uh, as i said no this is the actual production start date but uh, or else i'll just take a another example let us consider your planned start date is 25 10 planned start date but due to certain resources uh, of uh, unavailability of the resources and all you have to start this production on 29th 10 so this is the planned start date but this is the actual start date of the production so whatever the number of days are there between these two no this is called as a opening period okay opening period or sorry it is not a opening period it is the float before production period this is the float before production period so means the, uh, uh, you have planned it but somehow uh, due to the unavailability of the resources you are not able to make it out so that is why you are giving some a uh, float over there okay some tolerance over there so that is the float before and what is float after float after is nothing but you have planned like on 15th november 2022 you want to finish the production but due to some uh, what is that errors in the machine or something you are not able to finish on this particular time but you finished it on 18 11 2022 so whatever the time period is there in between these things these days that is called as the after float or the float after we can consider and uh, next is the release period okay this is relevant for production order management this is the time the represents number of working days to be subtracted from the order start date and we'll going to maintain opening period as 15 days uh, just for example and before float i'll just maintain 5 days and after float i'll give you 5 days okay just i am maintaining these things so just save it here i have maintained the float next we need to maintain the purchase value key okay that is also one more important thing in the while creating the material purchasing value key so we'll just create that also and how to create the and one more thing for this floats no whenever you are going for the mrp so uh, to maintain the mrp parameters okay the t code is o m i 8 okay o m i 8 i'll just uh, type it over here slash n o m i 8 you will directly go to this particular uh, maintenance of the plan parameters okay so i'll uh, i have to create the purchasing value key now uh, i think you have understood about the scheduling margin key important okay so you have to remember these points and here now we'll going to discuss about the purchasing value key for the purchasing value key the t code is ome1 ome1 if you go here directly you can uh, just create the purchasing value key but i'll just take you through the path go to the spro then img go to the material management purchasing okay here material master go to the material master here is the defined purchasing value key okay go to this here are certain values keys which are assigned already okay 
you you want to take this only and proceed you can do that or else if you want to create new one just go to the new entries here purchasing value key is just give it as a l okay and deadline monitoring okay so here we are giving some reminders to the vendors when they have to give the material to us if i am providing like 5 10 and 15 means for f uh, means uh, uh, when they want to deliver let us consider they are delivering the goods on 20th uh, 20 10 2022 means i will going to remind them okay 15 days back means i will going to call them or uh, send a message on 5 10 2022 20, once okay and uh, again i'll going to send them the uh, message on what is that 10 days before like uh, 10 10 2 0 22 and again i'll going to send the reminder on 15 10 2 0 22 these are the reminder okay when i'll going to give the reminder to them and if you are sending this reminders if the if you want to have the acknowledgement for that particular reminder then you can pick this okay so this will go in means they have to the vendor has to provide the acknowledgement for that okay then here a gr ir control is there what is this a tolerance under delivery we can maintain it in the percentage wise if you are maintaining if you might have ordered 100 products and you are maintaining 5% as a under delivery and 5% as a over delivery tolerance means 5% of 100 means 5 products and uh, here over delivery okay we, if you are considering that is coming as a 105 products if you are taking 105 products no until this if the vendor is bringing then you are accepting this product if he is bringing more than this then you are not going to accept those products if he is still uh, persisting or uh, asking you to take the products then you can take them in a very less price that is possible and under delivery is 95 okay so for 100 under delivery is 95 if the vendor is uh, coming to you and uh, telling that uh, no no i uh, due to some resources unavailability of the resources i can able to produce only 95 you can accept that but he is giving 80 and all you are not acceptable uh, for those particular materials you can uh, charge him or you can uh, disqualify this vendor okay anything might be possible okay so that is the uh, under delivery and over delivery over here okay and you can provide some shipping in instructions here okay that is also possible so these things will going to maintain it in the purchasing value key purchasing value key is mainly for the reminders and the maintaining up of the under delivery and the over delivery okay i'll just save this thing these are all the different things i have maintained here after this uh, now we need to create the material uh, we'll just end this class here and uh, uh, we'll going to create a material in the next class thank you guys thanks for your patience listening see you bye bye